Hey guys, today we'll be doing an unboxing and an install of an NZXT X41 Kraken CPU water cooler. Here's a box, let's open it up. So, here's a protective egg carton like shell inside the box. And in the shell, we have a bag of hardware, a 140 millimeter fan, a cooling block with uh, an integrated pump, a set of tubes and a 240 millimeter radiator. We'll be installing the cooler on an i7 plugged into an Intel motherboard in an NZXT S340 case. The Intel motherboard has an 1155 socket, so we'll need to pull the receivers in the backing plate all the way to the inside of the slots for the 1155, like that. It's pretty easy to do. And the last one. Okay, let's turn this around. So you notice the motherboard already has four holes pre-drilled to accept the backing plate. There are one, two, three, four. We'll just take the backing plate, make sure it's lined up correctly, and slide it into the holes, kind of like that. He says, there you go. We'll turn it back around again and um, insert the studs. The 1155 uses the largest set of studs in the X41 box. Um, I'm not going to bore you with while I screw them all in and tighten them up. So this should be a pretty pretty easy install as it's a completely closed system. The uh, water stays within this. There's no, no chance of that getting out. The first thing we need to do is install a 140 millimeter fan onto the radiator. Oops. I dropped the uh, cooling block. Um, so we're gonna set the fan up to pull air back through the radiator back into the case. Now this isn't the way I wanted to install the radiator, but there isn't enough room at the top to use an exhaust configuration like I originally wanted. The uh, Actually, every way I tried this radiator, it's very tight. I really love this case, but um, it isn't an ideal case for water cooling. So, you snap it in place, we'll fasten the radiator to the case, and then we'll set this down. And so I'm gonna pop the pop off the protective plastic and see how this fits. So here's a retainer ring that keeps things aligned. Um, this, this fell off when I dropped the cooling block. Let's see. Um, it looks like we're going to need to turn that bracket about 45 degrees. So, um, pull off this sticker. And let's turn that 45 degrees. See if that looks okay. Looks good. I'm going to put the retaining ring back on again. And we just snap some four places. You line the one, two, three, four. Excellent. I'll set the cooler over the CPU. And then we'll tighten, we'll grab the, screw, the screws and we'll tighten those down. We'll install a couple of exhaust fans to pull air out from the top and from the back of the case especially with the way we have this and I, I don't want to start it up until we do that. And we need to do a little bit, there's not very much wiring. You just connect the, um, the pump to the um, CPU fan connector on the motherboard. need to do a little bit of uh, tubing management, water tubing management. So I will take these tubes and I think I'm going to pull them up here and uh, zip tie them to the main wiring coming into the motherboard. And that's, again, not ideal, but it doesn't look that bad. And it seems like it'll be okay. And um, just snap that off. Okay, let's wire this up. And so far, so good. The lights are solid. The, no, nothing. Um, CPU, the cooler is working fine. The front fan's 
find uh, graph graphics cards working well. The two exhaust fans are working the way they expect them to. Uh, motherboard is not going to post. But this was um, supposed to be an unboxing and an installation of an NZXT X41 Kraken CPU integrated water cooler. That part seems to have worked great. Stick with me in the next video and we'll debug this motherboard issue.